ज्योतिरुपास्मे We finished the sixth sutra in the second part, uh, second chapter, and the first part there, first section there. Drishya Deitu. So we see such karya karana bheda even in loka. That was the answer given. That chetana vilakshana. ब्रह्म चेतना विलक्षण जगत अचेतन जगत विचित चेतन ब्रह्म विलक्षण के नॉट बी दार्य ऑफ चेतन ब्रह्म मीनिंग चेतन ब्रह्म के नॉट बी कारण ऑफ अचेतन जगत आंसर वॉज गिवन दृश्य थे वी सी नखलोम इत्यादि बींग बॉर्न फ्रॉम चेतन पुरुष एंड अदर वे ऑल्सो इज ट्रू देर फोर देर इज नो सच नियम दैट अचेतना के नॉट बी दार्य ऑफ चेतना और वाइस वर्षा विद एग्जाम्पल दूत्र सिक्स शोड दैट द नेक्स्ट सूत्र इज इंट्रोड्यूस इन दृत्ति वाई सिंह असत कार्यवाद आशंक्य निराचष्टे नाउ दि पूर्व पक्षी से युअर प्रपंच हेज बीन As in, in your propancha meaning, in your perspective, the Siddhantis perspective, what is propancha? Nama or rupa atma ko propancha. Now, you are saying that the nama or rupa atma ko propancha can come from Brahma, which is nama or rupa hina. Thereby, if nama or rupa has come from something which is which wasn't there earlier. Nama Rupa wasn't there earlier, and now in Jagat Nama Rupa is there. So if Nama Rupa is the Swarup of Prapancha, and it wasn't there earlier, then Asat Karya Vada. It is Asat Karya Vada because what is not there is coming into this creation, Kalpado. Therefore. Your paksha is similar to asat karyavada. She is the puro pakshi. Asat karyavadam ashanke nirachaste. The sutra kara refuses that we are agreeing with asat karyavada. We are sat karyavadin to refute asat karyavada, but in paramasiddhanta we are saying that Brahma is the karana. And jagat is what it is mitya. So we are not even satkaryavadi in that sense. We are vivarta karyavadis. We are saying that the prapancha is vivarta of Brahma. But to refute the satkaryavada, we say that satkaryavada is better than satkaryavada. Sutra says asaditi chenna prashit. प्रतिषेधमात्रत्वात् असदिति चेन्न प्रतिषेधमात्रत्वात् दिस आइडिया हैज कम अप अर्लियर इन दि वृत्ति इन दि फर्स्ट चैप्टर असत सॉरी असत इति चेत् न प्रतिषेधमात्रत्वात् सो असत इति चेत् इज ऑब्वियसली दि पूर्व पक्षा 
if your karana is said to be asat the karana is asat then what is the refutation na na asat karya vada asat karya vada na actually it should be asat karya vada na why pratisheda matratva we are saying that there is only pratisheda in where is this pratisheda the vishaya vakya here should be taken as uh, the mantra which says asat some say that there is utpatti from asat it is there in the chandogya upanishad just let me look up the mantra there it is not quoted in the vritti uh, just give me a moment it is not uh, it is not quoted in in the bhashya also maybe it is there in the bhashya just give me a moment seven sutra okay it is not quoted even in uh, strangely it is not quoted even in the uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the context of Taitri has been taken, and then it moves on to that, saying that if asat, uh, satcha asat bhavat, satcha satcha asat abhavat. That was the mantra, or rather, uh, vidyanancha vidyanancha, and uh, satcha uh, tyaccha. Yeah, satcha tyaccha abhavat. That was the mantra which was looked at into the earlier sections. so it continuing there what is said is that if at all you are uh, and there we had seen in this mantra the satcha tyaccha bhavat or vijnanancha vijnanancha which was quoted by the purva pakshi there we said that this nama roopatmak prapancha is not only insentient it is also sentient because vijnanam means sentient and avijnanam means insentient anyway in the context of chandogya this comes up uh chandogya or uh, taitriya i don't recall the mantra now unfortunately so uh, what happens is that the uh, purva pakshi is refuted by the siddhanti using the shishya there the context is that the purva pakshi says that asat is karana of this prapancha your upanishad itself says that quotes the purva pakshi and there taitriya right yeah thanks so taitriya so in taitriya upanishad uh, the uh, purva pakshi in fact i think the purva pakshi there is a bauddha bauddha says that he has no uh, pramanya buddhi in shastra in vedas but to counter you counter the astika darshanika he will bring in shruti also selectively so he says asat is karana asatha utpatti the utpatti of prapancha is prapancha is from asat and there we had said that it is unmanifest name and form from that the prapancha is manifest nama roopatmak prapancha is manifest i remember in chandogya also there is a context in the bhashya therefore there is a confusion as to it's been long since i looked into it so uh, there uh, the there the uh, nanj there is question so in the bhashya what bhagwan bhashikara does is that the shishya he raises a question from the vedanti shishya who says that how can this vakya bodha takes take place shabda bodha won't take place if you say before before shrishti asateva idam agra asit that is the mantra okay now it comes to asadeva idam agra asit in that context there is a discussion now here the vishaya mantra is not quoted but we'll see as per the vritti how this will work as to pratisheda matratvat it will work both ways one we have already seen what is that the nama roopa not being there earlier does not mean nama roopa is asat it was there in bija avastha if nama roopa was asat and it has come into play as real satyam nama roopa nama roopa nama roope satye if at all nama roope nama and roopa vivachana are satye when 
after srishti and before srishti they were not there then nama rupe asatye before the srishti they were asat asatyam asatyam sadeva satya sat satyam eva there is a mantra is sat and satya are interchangeable there so whether <coughs> nama rupa or sat asatau or asatye before creation then you are darshana is asat karyavada says the purva pakshi and he quotes what shruti is also supporting asadeva idam agra asit now this is quoted as purva paksha even in shruti shruti also quotes that some people think like this and which cannot be then shruti says it is not possible therefore sadeva somi idam agra asit is in the chandogya now what bhagwan bhashyakara says is that if at all shruti has said that then you have to do mimamsa of that vakya as to how shabda bodha takes place shabda bodha is vakyartha vakyartha jnanam how does vakyartha jnana takes place that has to be learned from purva mimamsa kas and you have to analyze in that manner and understand the tatpare of the shruti that vakya that vakya itself will not give rise to shabda bodha if at all you take asat eva idam agra asit meaning what the anvaya there would be srishte prak idam agre agre means before before what srishte he prak before srishti idam idam jagat nama roopatmakam jagat idam srishte he prak asat eva asit now why would shabda bodha not take place because asat and asit cannot go together shasha vishanavat asat asat means what vandhya putravat asat like the rabbit's horns which are never going to be there there is never a vision of rabbit's horns being there or you say you look at this uh, devadatta he is son of this barren woman a barren woman who has never given birth to a child can never give birth to a child how can devadatta be the son of that that woman or kha pushpavat like the flower in the sky can there ever be flower in the sky there are various different types of asad hetus there as per the tarkikas each has to be analyzed as to what is wrong there giving an example one can make a vyapti but then the hetu would be wrong in various examples various ways the hetu can be shown to be asat but that is the perspective of the tarkika we will look at it as to from the mimamsa perspective how can shabda bodha not take place because you are saying that asat meaning non existent non existence was there asit means what was there so they before creation this prapancha <coughs> wasn't there but what is the statement asad asit so now you have to pick these two words asad asit idam prapan idam jagat idam asat eva asit so as srishte prap asat eva asit it was non exist a non existence was there that would be the anvaya now non existence and was because in asat there is as dhatu and then you have shatru pratyaya and you have nan so you have asat asit asat means what na sat and asit means what is also from as dhatu in the past tense asit was there so asat means what wasn't there and was there so how can you have this kind of a contradictory statement it wouldn't lead to shabda bodha at all this is the siddhanti student asking he says how can this sentence give shabda bodha it cannot give and then bhagwan bhashyakara says yes it is true it won't give but the shruti is saying that so how do you do mimamsa how do you understand what is the meaning of the statement and how will that meaning flash in the mind 
how will that, how will that understanding take place so there the with the vakya you have to do nanj and that is the pratisheda meaning if you say that there was nama roopatmaka prapancha sat is nama roopa iti na so that nanj usually nanj goes with the pada but when such va shabda bodha it, itself won't take place then you have to use chandasa chandasa prayoga understand it as chandasa prayoga and take that nanj separate it from the asat and use it for the entire vakya so this nama roopatmaka prapancha was sat sad asit idam jagat na idam nama roopatmakam jagat सृष्टे प्राक अग्रे मीन सृष्टे प्राक सद आसीत दैट इज वाक्या एंड नंज विल गो विद वाक्या इति न सद आसीत इति न मीनिंग दिस दिस प्रपंच वाज दिस नाम रूपा वाज देर इति न मीनिंग व्हाट इट वाज नॉट मैनिफेस्ट देर फॉर प्रतिषेध मात्रत्वा न इति प्रतिषेध मात्रम that is how it has to be understood and that is the only way that vakya bodha or shabda bodha will take place this was the answer given so that is another possibility here as to pratisheda matra so why i am taking this option out is because this has been discussed earlier and the vishay vakya is not quoted and i couldn't find it in the bhashya also so both are possible finally the end meaning was what the prapancha was in unmanifest seed form in bija avastha it was there and it has been manifest during srishti that's all it is so chetanasya nama roopaadi heenasya achetana namaadi mat jagat hetutve utpatte purvam jagat asadevasyaditi chetna so without quoting the <coughs> vishay mantra vishay vakya purva pakshi is objecting just based on the earlier sutra if you say this uh, earlier couple of sutras which have gone by he says if you say that this prapancha which is jada nama roopatmaka has come up from chetana which is ra nama roopadi heena then it is asat karyavada so he is using shuddha tarka there there is no uh, source he is quoting but if at all there is a source then this vakya can be taken and then the same solution which was given there can be used here so we have pramana for how this has been understood by mimamsa and how shruti vakya itself has been understood so it has to be brought and applied to any scenario which is similar so chetanasya nama roopadi heenasya this chetana brahma which is bereft of nama and roopa ityadi achetana namaadi mat jagat hetutve that's the entire thing is a samasa so that jagat which is karya therefore the karana or hetu for that jagat is what chetana chetana nama roopadi heena chetana brahma and karya is what achetana namaadi mat jagat the jagat which is this matu jagat is qualified by matu panta pada uh, not a uh, pada in a samasa chetana namaadi mat so therefore chetana chet uh, achetana 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 uh, nama aadi aadi padena roopa roopa and then anything else that you see which is separate from sachidananda all the varieties basically they are only the varieties of nama roopa but then beyond the nama roopa also all indriya functions can be brought in so achetana namaadi or namaadaya asya santi asya jagatah santi iti achetana namaadi mat jagat and then karmadharya obviously because uh, bahuri anya pada is in karmadharya in the samasa here so achetana namaadi mat cha asau jagat cha इति अचेतन नामादि मत जगत एंड देन तस्य हेतुत्वम इन सप्तमी 
हेतुत्वे सती अचेतन नामादि मज्जगत हेतुत्वे सती कस्य हेतुत्वम नामादि रूपादि हीनस्य चेतनस्य ब्रह्मण अचेतन नामादि मज्जगत हेतुत्वम अस्ति तस्मिन सती इफ दैट इज दी केस मीनिंग व्हाट इफ इफ दी चेतन ब्रह्म विच इज बिरेफ्ट ऑफ नाम रूपादि इज कारण फॉर अचेतन नामादि मत जगत देन उत्पत्ते पूर्व जगत असदेव सैद देन वॉट नाम रूप हैज कम फ्रॉम सो इज ओनली फोकसिंग ऑन एस्पेक्ट जगत हैज नाम रूप दैट नाम रूप इज एंड देर इन ब्रह्म सो नाम रूप हैज कम फ्रॉम ब्रह्म विच डज नॉट हैव नाम रूप देर फॉर नाम रूप हैज कम फ्रॉम नाम रूपादि हीन मीनिंग नाम रूप हैज कम फ्रॉम नाम रूपादि नॉट बींग देर मीनिंग असत फ्रॉम असत नाम रूप सत नाम रूप हैज कम इन दैट इज दी पर्स्पेक्टिव पूर्व जगत असद चेत न रिफ्यूटेशन ऑफ दी सिद्धांत इज न इट इज नॉट सो वाय कुछ प्रतिषेध मात्र देर इज ओनली प्रतिषेध ओनली negation being done it is only being negated as to it was not manifest so asatsyat iti yoyam pratishedah see here it is in asatsyat even in the anumana asatsyat will not make sense so it's a similar statement to asadasit in the shruti that's why we can bring in the understanding from there from bhashya and apply it here asatsyat योयम प्रतिषेध तन्मात्रिंग ऑफ असधातु एंड असत इज नंज ऑफ असधातु शतरंत देर फोर सच कैंड ऑफ अ वाक्य के नॉट बी मेड अनलेस यू सेपरेट दी नंज अर एंड देन अप्लाइड टू द वाक्य सो सत असत is yoyam pratishedha tanmatra there is only a negation natu tasya pratishedyam asti ityartha so pratishedyam is there meaning we do not say that that asat is existent asat is not existent we say that sat it was sat it is not so or pratishedyam asti we are not saying that pratishedyam asti meaning negation is present that kind of a statement is not being made but it is being negated as to whatever you think it is now such thing wasn't there it wasn't so meaning the swarupa of the prapancha is nama rupa why sachidananda is not the swarupa because sachidananda cannot it be its swarupa it is this it is the swarupa of brahma karana swarupa कारण स्वरूप द नेचर ऑफ कारण एक्सटेंड्स इनटू दी कार्य एंड अपीयर्स टू बी द कार्यास नेचर व्हिच इट इज नॉट सो स्वरूप ऑफ प्रपंच इज नॉट सच्चिदानंद सच्चिदानंद इज द स्वरूप ऑफ ब्रह्म इट अपीयर्स टू बी देयर इन प्रपंच एंड नाम रूप व्हिच इज द feature available now the characteristics available now which make transaction possible with this prapancha with the ghatapadaadi prapancha that is the swarupa which is mithya therefore this nama roopa was there in the bija avastha meaning nama roopa the way you can deal with it that kind of a dealing was not possible before srishti that is the meaning this nama roopa which makes the transaction possible that kind of transaction was not possible before creation and after creation the transaction is possible that is the tatparya of the shruti there karya sattaya karana avyatireka sthiti dashayam iva utpatte purvam api brahmatmakam eva idam jagat asad aasid iti bhava there i think this should be Uh, jagat na asat iti bhava yeah. so you have to add a verb before that so karya sattaya karana avyatireka 
दी सत्ता स्फूर्ति ऑफ दी सत्ता इज taken into account here only satta is being mentioned it is upalakshana for other things because the sutra is on sat and asat therefore satta is being discussed this satta of the karya is non different from the satta of the karana non different meaning not that is similar it is same it is the same satta which appears to be there in the karya that satta is of karana therefore sthiti dashaya meaning after creation now siddhi dashayam eva utpatti puram also before utpatti nama roopa wasn't there trans but what was there then now the satta spurti that you see that was there earlier as well so purvam api brahmatmakam eva idam jagat this prapancha was in its swarupa now it is nama roopatmaka but sachidananda brahma is there and the sachidananda brahma was there earlier also so that sad brahma has manifest now as sad jagat but the swarup of jagat is not sat so what was the nature of the jagat before srishti it was brahma now also it is brahma really but we look at nama roopa and miss out the brahma tattva so brahmatmakam eva idam jagat purvam api asit and then so purvam api asit if you say then that will make sense that will give you shabda bodha then what do you do with nan so na asat iti bhava so that's another way to look at it is na asat the na is not there at all so na that nanj has to be doubled there if you say na asat but na asat is not in the sentence no vishaya vakya so na asat is the explanation pratisheda matram means what the understand asat asat iti chet pratisheda matratvat na pratisheda mat so this na is of the sutra na asat iti bhavah this is sutra sutra being explained not the vishaya vakya no vishaya vakya has been quoted anyway i hope it is clear now jagat brahmano or uktam karya karanatvam amrushyamana chodayati so generally chodayati means the vidhi vidhi is said but then the puro pakshi puro pakshi amrushyamana hai is puro pakshi so puro pakshi chodayati what does he do he says is मृषु दिस शानजंत पद कर्तरी हियर सो मृषु सहने अमृष्यमाणा मींस वन हु कैन कैनॉट ही ही कैनॉट बेयर दिस सो असहमाना इत्यर्थ सो ही सेड अमृष्यमाणा हा वन हु इज अनेबल टू बेयर दिस दैट पूरो पक्षी ऑब्जेक्ट्स टू इट सो चोदयति हियर इज इन द सेंस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स ही ऑब्जेक्ट्स रेज इज अ डाउट अदरवाइज जगत ब्रह्मण उत कार्य कारण सो इस कार्य कारण भाव बिटवीन जगत एंड ब्रह्म जगत इज कार्य ऑफ ब्रह्म विच इज कारण दैट इज अनएक्सेप्टेबल एंड देर बाय ही ऑब्जेक्ट सो दिस इज दूर्व पक्षी सूत्र अपीत तद्वत प्रसंगाद असमंजस अपीत तद्वत प्रसंगाद असमंजस सो अपीत तद्वत प्रसंगा असमंजसम असमंजसम मीन इट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल इट इज नॉट एप्रोप्रिएट दिस कैंड ऑफ अ कार्य कारण भाव इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल वाई वाई इज इट नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल प्रसंगा तद्वत प्रसंगा अपीत अपीति इज अपीत इज सप्तमी ऑफ अपीति तिनंत पद अपीपूर्वक इन गौ धातु तीन प्रत्यय स्त्रीलिंग सॉरी सो प्रलय इज अर्थ प्रलय प्रलय तद्वत प्रसंगा असमंजस ही सेज दट दिस प्रतिषेद विथ प्रतिषेद वॉट यू हेव सेड दट ब्रह्म इज जगत् कारण ऑफ प्रपंच बट इन प्रलय वॉट इज देर 
ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಲಯ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫೋಲ್ಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆಸ್ ಪರ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಆಸ್ ಪರ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಅಪೀತ ಪ್ರಲಯ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಸಮಯ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಕಾಲ ಸಪ್ತಮಿ ಯುಟಿ ಆಟ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಲಯ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ನಾಮರೂಪಾತ್ಮಕ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮರ್ಜ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಸೊ ತದ್ವತ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗಾತ್ ಅಸಮಂಜಸ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ then this nama roopatmak prapancha which has folded itself into brahma and you are saying nama roopa is there in bija avastha because you are disagreeing with asat karyavada therefore sat karyavada meaning it was there if it is there then what will happen is nama roopa basically ashuddha adipadena whatever ashuddha ashuddha dharma jar there in the ashuddha dharma means ashuddha guna jar there in ಕಾರ್ಯ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೇಂಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾರಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸೊ ತದ್ವತ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗಾತ್ ಅಸಮಂಜಸ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಸಮಯ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ದಿ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಅಶುದ್ಧ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಇನ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ which as per the shruti is what shuddha shuddha nirguna brahma so ashuddha jagat will go at that kind of a prasanga tadvat prasanga so tadvat uh, tadvat prasanga uh, is better as a samasa otherwise you cannot make sense of prasanga so let me redo the padacheda apitau tadvat prasanga asamanyasam so apitau and tat is apiti meaning pralaya so ಅಪೀತೌ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಸಮಯ ತದ್ವತ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಲಯವತ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗಾದ್ ಇನ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ರಲಯವತ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ರೂ ಸಚ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಅಶುದ್ಧ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಗೋ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಬೈ ದಿಲ್ ಟೇನ್ ದಿ ಶುದ್ಧತ್ವ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ that kind of a prasanga will arise that kind of a situation or that kind of a conclusion will arrive at and that is asamanjasa therefore what your karanatva of brahma for this ashuddha gunavat jagat is wrong says the purva pakshi that is the sutra artha shuddhatvaadi gunakam brahma jagat upadanam iti asamanjasam that's not correct to say that this brahma which is shuddha shuddha ityadi gunakam shuddhatvam then uh, we see muktatvam ityadi so sh- shuddha buddha mukta swabhava brahma that kind of brahma how can it be karana for ashuddha jagat ashuddha abuddha amukta jagat ಇತಿ ಅಸಮಂಜಸ ಕುತ ಅಪೀತ ತದ್ವತ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರಾಧರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕಿಮಿ ಅಪೀತ ತದ್ವತ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ಸೊ ಓಕೆ ಸಾರಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೆ ಸೊ ಅಪೀತ ತದ್ವತ್ ತದ್ವತ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ಮೀನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹೀ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕಾರಣ ಭಾವ ದೆನ್ ಅಪೀತ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಅಪೀತ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ತದ್ವತ್ ತದ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪೀತ so that is not correct so tad tad would be tadvat means the way you are saying what you are saying is that this karanatva of prapancha is there in brahma therefore this ashuddhatva adi gunas which are there in jagat they will go and sit into brahma because srishtivat so in srishti if you are saying srishtivat prasanga so jagat the way it is in ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತತ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ತತ್ ಸೊ ಕಾರ್ಯವತ್ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಕಾರ್ಯವತ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಜಗತ್ 
which is what ashuddhatvaati gunakam so you have to say ashuddhatvaati ashuddhatvaati gunakam karyam jagat that is not arguable at all it is acceptable to both parties meaning karya jagat is nama roopadi mat and nama roopadi is what it is all ashuddha so ashuddha ashuddha guna ashuddhatva ashuddhatvaadi gunakam jagat karyam tadvat tadvat apitav api prasangat so tadvat prasangat means karyavat ashuddhatvaadi karyavat apitav api prasangat during so the, the issue there is Uh, there is a the difficulty in this sutra is uh, in my perspective it appears to be ekadesha anvaya so when you have in samasa you have ekadesha anvaya it is a little tricky to interpret so tadvat if i separate then i uh, there is an issue if you put it in the samasa then it is uh, if you put it in samasa then there is an ekadesha anvaya so tadvat if you say uh, tadvat prasangad um, possible you can separate it and say prasangat prasangat means due to such a such a situation or such a uh, such a misunderstanding rather so you can say prasangat can be understood as separate and you say due to such a such a situation of understanding that can be a hetu and then you say tadvat means what karyavat then you can separate and say karyavat apitav karyavat so apitav api कार्यवत प्रलये कार्यवत प्रसंगा सो कारण से अशुद्धत्ववत अशुद्धत्वादि गुणक जगत कार्य वत प्रसंगा कस्य कस्य कार्यवत कारण से कारण विचि शुद्धत्वादि गुणक सो शुद्धत्वादि गुणक से ब्रह्मण कारण से अशुद्धत्वादि गुणक जगत विच इज कार्य कार्यवत प्रसंगात सो दैट कैन बी दी बेटर सूत्र अर्थ सॉरी आई एम हैविंग सम डिफिकल्टी बिकॉज ऑफ आई डोंट सडनली हैव कॉट कोल्ड सो शुद्धत्वादि गुण का ब्रह्म विल बिकम अशुद्धत्वादि कार्य जगतवत लाइक दिस जगत विच इज अशुद्धत्वादि व्हेन ड्यूरिंग प्रलय सो मीनिंग व्हाट ड्यूरिंग प्रलय इफ इट हैपेंस देन दैट ब्रह्म व्हिच हैज बीन टेंटेड ड्यूरिंग प्रलय इटसेल्फ meaning before srushti in srushti also it will remain dushita only so that is the dosha being pointed out by the puro pakshi apitau pralaya samaye tadvat karyavat karanasya api brahmana ashuddhatvadi prasajjete cyartha so it is very easy in the vritti i should have seen in the vritti taken the vritti earlier this apitau also is a very rare word so i spend some time as to looking at its construct so lost the focus there sorry about that so prasajjeta this kind of a situation would occur so prasangat is explained as prasajjeta ityartha he has not quoted the sutra there the vritti so you can take this prasangar as a separate word hetu panchami pralaye ashuddhatvaadi gunakam jagat brahmani liyamanam swanishta shuddhyaadi dharmaihi brahma dushed ityartha so what happens is that in during pralaya this ashuddhaadi gunaka jagat which has become one with brahma brahmani liyamanam sat brahmani liyamanam sat what will happen swanishta swanishta ashuddhaadi dharmaihi brahma dushe iti iti bhavah what would happen is it would taint the brahma why because swanishta sw swapadena jagat so jagannishta ashuddhaadi dharma so with the dharmas gunas vichar ashuddha ityadi where are they nishta in स्वस्मिन स्वस्मिन निष्ठा स्वस्मिन स्व ये मीन्स जगत सो जगती निष्ठा जगती निष्ठा ये अशुद्धादि धर्मा तै ही ब्रह्म दूषयेद सो विद दोज गुणाज विचार अशुद्ध इन जगत थ्रू देम व्हाट ब्रह्म विल बी टेंटेड इति भाव सो दैट इज अ दोष how can you have nirguna brahma becoming saguna in pralaya and forget saguna what kind of gunas not swadharmas also anya dharmas so all the 
Satchidananda is tainted with what? Ashuddha Dharma's Nama Rupadi, which is missing. But you are saying it is unmanifest. And therefore, not only Nama Rupa, but all of these, which are the, the gunas in Jagat, which are Ashuddha, they will go and taint Brahma. Evam Akshepe Pariharati. Evam Akshepe Sati or Akshepe Prapte. Prapte Sati Pariharati. Parihara is given to such Akshepa. This was the Puro Pakshi Sutra. Now the Siddhanti says, Natu Drishtanta Bhavat. Natu Drishtanta Bhavat. So this two here is in the eva evakar artha. Two evakar artha. No patachheda needed. So drishtanta se bhavat. There is such a drishtanta which is there. Meaning what? We see in the loka there is so many drishtantas possible as to how karya becoming one with karana on destruction or on nasha. The ghata, if the ghata is broken and it becomes one with mrit. Then do you say the mrit is dushita now? It is not. You can still make other, another pot out of this. You make the, you take the ghata, if the broken ghata. Let's say the ghata is dropped and the pot breaks. Once the pot breaks, the potter, let's say he has created a new pot and then it is broken. So the pot is all, you know, it, it, is, it has all, all sorts of... Uh, you know, karya, whatever is there in the karya, all that has, alankara has been done. Or it is a used pot also, you say, it is broken. But then the recycling is possible. In that recycling, there is no taint in the karana. The mrut, the clay does not get dushita by the, due to the karya. So the pot is broken. It is churnita and mixed with the clay and another pot is created. So such examples are there. The karya, when it is when it attains nasha and it merges into whether it's a temporary nasha just like you know in pralaya or in uh, nitya pralaya also the prapancha comes back in the same way but you do not change sapnavat in this sapna you became many things you became the entire prapancha but have you changed due to sapna in fact most people do not even remember the sapna sapna is Sapna is there for every living being and we remember only only very little of the Sapna every day. In, in fact, every day we don't even recall of having Sapna. Some days we remember but as soon as we wake up all that unless it is very, you know, stays vivid. Even if one Sapna is vivid, there are so many Sapnas which we forget. Don't even remember, we try to recollect, so something like this I have seen. There can be some confusion as to, you know, what exactly you saw. But it doesn't change you. You know, it is all mithya. That is it, Siddhanta. But anyway, from the perspective of the Karana, there is no change at all. Karana remains Karana. It, the Shuddha Dharma does not go away due to Ashuddha Dharma Jagat being folded into it. So, such drishtanta is there in loka also. Therefore, na, meaning such dosha will not accrue. That is the sutra artha. Tu evakar artha puruoktam asamanyasam na nasti ityeva. Na means na asti. Such asamanyasa meaning karya karana bhava is not there. Or interpretation of karya karana bhava between jagat and brahma is incorrect. That is not right. Meaning, it is not incorrect. Nasti eva, asamanyasam nasti means it is not incorrect, means it is correct. Karyakarana bhava is correct. Kutaha, drishtanta bhava. Such drishtanta is there as to karyam karane liyamanam sat. Swadharmena karanam na dusheti iti, iti asmin arthe. Shatasho drishtanta nam yatha ghatadikam karyam mrudi liyamanam mrudam swadharmena na dusheti iti eva madhikana sattva dichartaha. Since there are so many, hundreds of satasha means hundreds of examples are there. We don't even need to talk about it because it is well known, says the Siddhanti. He says Swadharmena. Swadharmena means Karya Dharmena. Karyam Swadharmena. The Karya with its own Dharma being Karane Liyamanam Sat being 
मर्ज इंटू कारण इट्स ओन कारण स्वधर्म कारण न दूषयति विथ इट्स ओन कार्य धर्म कार्य डज नॉट टेन दि कारण इनफैक्ट दिस इज वॉट दिस इज दि रिफ्यूटेशन ऑफ दि पूर्व पक्षी एक्चुअली सिद्धांत विल कम अप परम सिद्धांत इज वॉट दिस इज ओनली बींग सेट देर एज टू सो मेनी एक्सापल आर देर एक्चुअली अवर एक्सापल इज नॉट रियली घटपटादि बींग मर्ज इन टू मृत दट इज नॉट अवर एक्सापल बिकॉज अवर रियल एक्सापल इज रज्जु सर्प और वील से दाइक द मिराज वॉटर इन दि डेजर्ट सो डज दि the the dry desert the dryness of the desert is its swadharma karana dharma and that itself becomes karana for what upadana karana for the mirage water this mirage water which appears that water is obviously going to make you wet any water is going to make you wet if you take a dip it is going to quench your thirst but this water is different it is not going to quench your thirst but that water which has potential to make you wet make anything wet will it make the its karana the desert desert sand will it wetten the sand it will not wet the sand that is our real example so that will come up now and again i have been mentioning tarkika tarkika see tarkika because tarka is being used we'll say tarkika but tarka is used by others also so when this anu ityadi parmanu ityadi came up i mentioned that for easy understanding i mentioned that this is a tarkika paksha as a puro pakshi there is a tarkika sitting there but you have to look at it from as sankhya is also there because sankhya is our main puro main puro pakshi pradhan puro pakshi so in dealing with all of this the sankhya himself can bring up the tarkika paksha also because he uses tarka also so either we you see it this sankhya has not gone away the sankhya is the main puro pakshi even in between he takes up the tarkika puro paksha or tarkika himself comes in and somehow wants to refute the vedanta because see all of these five darshanikas are puro pakshis for vedanta and whenever any of these five talk about vedanta they talk about mean as puro pakshi they take vedanta also so for all five we are the puro pakshi meaning we are the opponent not puro pakshi purva and uttar paksha is by siddhanta uttar paksha will always be vedanta it cannot be anyone else from their siddhanta they will talk about something but then purva and uttar if you say then uttar paksha will always be advaita siddhanta nonetheless what i am getting at is that whenever the vedanti is being refuted that time all of these will get together all of these darshanikas will get together just to refute the vedanti and vedanti will use samadas darshana's perspective to refute the other similarly now what the sankhya may be doing is that he is taking tarkika's paksha and quoting or tarkika may be there also but having refuted him sankhya comes back and takes another objection and another objection and keeps on doing this yet another objection till he either gives up or wins over so from that perspective you have to look at sankhya he is the main opponent and he is going to be there even when the tarkika is the puro pakshi or he is quoting the tarkika with parmanu vada ityadi so he says that okay you have refuted me but when you are saying that samanvaya that samanvaya will fall apart even if the tarkika tarkika's darshana is taken so now that was in the samanvaya adhyaya in the avirodha adhyaya what is being shown is that all of these darshanikas whatever grantha they are looking at or they have created their paksha cannot oppose samanvaya at all so there is no opposition in our samanvaya interpretation earlier what was the perspective there earlier the the foundation of samanvaya was to be established so they are they were saying samanvaya itself is not possible now they are saying that 
if this samanvaya is possible then there will be virodha with others indirectly what samanvaya is not, is not right or you have to resolve the doubt how 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 have others concluded and their darshana says that they also have shruti as basis shruti as basis therefore this virodha has to be resolved so this is the focus now therefore these ideas which have been seen in the samanvaya adhya also they can come back in a different garb so they they'll say that now we are not saying that samanvaya is wrong we are saying that if this samanvaya is right then this dosha how will you resolve and then if you cannot resolve the dosha then you have to go back to the first chapter and samanvaya itself should be reanalyzed this is the avirodha adhyaya perspective so some you know some things may seem very similar that's why i'm uh, saying as to it is not repetition it is there is a difference between this avirodha and samanvaya that is gone by itham uh satwa dusha yeah so we have seen this so uh, why i am saying that this is not our main example that comes up now itham swapakshe doshan parihrtya tan eva parapakshe yojayati now what the siddhanti says is that see you are smartly objecting to uh, what our paksha and saying that your satkarya vada will have uh, uh, although we the sankhya knows that you are not a satkarya vadin vedanti so he says that your vada is asatkarya vada so he is not saying that you, your vada is satkarya vada but he says that whatever be your vada vivarta vada ityadi whatever you say that prapancha is mithya all that you say but it is asatkarya vada so his aropa is what your if you say that this is how uh, the karya karana bhava is between brahma and jagat then then you are asatkarya vadi now the siddhanti says that how do you make such aropa on me when you have similar dosha in your own darshana you have the same dosha because you say pradhana is karana and jagat is karya all the jagat gunas are there in pradhana do you accept it and if they are not there then you will become asatkarya vadi but you are what you claim that you are satkarya vadi so are you an asatkarya vadi as the siddhanti to the puro pakshi sankhya so itham swapakshi doshan parihritya having you know uh, answered all the aropa of the opponents on one zone vedanta paksha tan eva parapakshi yojeti the same faults that you are trying to show in my siddhanta they will apply to your siddhanta also says the siddhanti to the sankhya in the sankhya also uh, sankhya darshan also they will apply swapaksha doshaccha swapaksha doshaccha so swapaksha doshaccha swapaksha here is what it is sankhya paksha this swapaksha is vedanta paksha here but in the sutra swapaksha swapaksha dosha means in your own paksha sankhya paksha also similar doshas will accrue so in tarka there is a niyama that you should not bring something to the table as a fault in the other siddhanta you should not point out when you have a similar dosha in yours basically what you know in the proverbial statement as to the uh, you know those who stay in glass houses they should not throw stones etc so you have it in various languages so you should not do that because you have the same it is not and you don't <laughs> if at all you know with the other way is that uh, whatever discussion is there should be in such a manner that uh, it is the dosha is your doshas are not seen by the others otherwise you are showing your own faults you are not doing an aropa on others you are showing your own fault as well so ye dosha ha vilakshanatvat prakriti vikara bhava anupapatti hi utpatte prag jagata asatva prasanga apitau tadvat prasanga iti sankhena udbhavita ha so by sankhya what sankhya what all has been said he said vilakshanatva the dosha he said that there is dosha why vilakshanatva is there your jagat is what your jag uh, brahma is jagat vilakshana or jagat is brahma vilakshana that dosha is there so he showed chetana chetana that dosha is exactly is not there but there is other dosha also vilakshanatva there there is vilakshana because pradhana does not have shabdadi but then shabdadi is there in jagat so we will say shabdadi hi na being there shabdadi shabdadi jagat vilakshana pradhana will have vilakshanatva dosha so vilakshanatva is possible in your pak- siddhanta also in sankhya darshana also prakriti vikara bhava anubhavati and therefore what karya karana bhava is not possible and utpatte prag jagatah asatva prasanga 
Asat Kari Vada, we looked at it. Before, if the Nama Rupa wasn't there in Brahma, then your Brahma is Karana, being Karana, Brahma being Karana, Nama Rupa not being there, meaning Asat of Nama Rupa being Karana of Sad Nama Rupa of Jagat, this is Asat Karyavan. So Asatva Prasangaha, Apitau Tadvat Prasangaha, meaning what this uh, Ashuddhatvadi Guna of Prapancha are going to taint Brahma during Pralaya also. So Tadvat Prasanga, Karyavat Prasanga, Ashuddhatvat Prasangaha, Iti Sankhya Nodbhavita, Ye Dosha. Those doshas which have been raised by the Puro Pakshi Sankhya, Te Sankhya Pakshi Api Samana. Huh? They are there in Sankhya Pakshi also. How so? Ask the Sankhya. Shabdadi Hina Pradhana Sakasha, Shabdadi Mataha, Vilakshanasya Jagata, Utpati Angkara Nityartaha. Because your Shabdadi Hina Pradhana is Karana for Shabdadi Mat Jagat. Therefore, what happened? Vilakshanatva will be, Dosha will be there. And Shabdadis are not there in Pradhana. Therefore, what? Asat Shabdadi. Pradhana has Abhav of Shabdadi. Means what? Asat. They are Asat in Pradhana. From Asat Sadutpati, that, that dosha is there. And then Apitau, the Shabdadi are Ashuddha. And Pradhana does not have Shabdadi. So Pradhana is Shuddha in that manner. So Shabdadi are going to taint Ashabdadi Pradhana. So Ashuddha Dharmas are going to taint Shuddha Pradhana. Therefore also this Apitau Tadvat Prasanga, that kind of a dosha is there even in your Pakasha. Therefore we have since you have asked, we have answered because we are not saying that we do not have an answer. We have answered for all of this because we have Shruti as our Pramana, Mula Pramana. Thereby, all these sutras have been answering your questions very patiently, but this is a flaw. All these three sutras will apply. All these three objections will apply to your Darshana also. Vastuta, but what is the fact in reality? We have answered your questions. We have shown that such faults are there in your case also. Now we are saying what? These faults are really not there at in our case at all. Because Swapaksha Doshacha, if you have said, then in my Swapaksha there is Sankhya Paksha Dosha. So if the Sutra Artha is taken as Sankhya Paksha Doshacha, that is the Sutra Artha if you take, then Mama Paksha Api Ityartha or Mama Paksha Vat Dosha. Tau Pakshya Api, that will be the Prasanga. Just give me a moment please. Sorry, the cold was uh, bothering a little bit. So, so what happens is that, now take an example here, if, if, if at all, you know, let's take a very uh, crude example. Let's say, so meaning what, uh, uh, what I'm explaining is that in the earlier sutras, the answers were given for the Aropa, but we are not even accepting the Aropa. This Aropa itself will not accrue to us. Why we'll see in the, it is given in the sutra, it is very easy, but look at the sutra as Swapaksha Dosha Cha and due to dosha in your darshana also. So when you say also meaning what? It may be misinterpreted as these doshas are there in Vedanta Siddhanta and similar doshas are in your therefore as per Tarka you should not bring it to the table which is what I mentioned earlier. So we saw this earlier. Now the fact is what? The fact is that Swapaksha dosha deva it is not really dosha in my case at all, in your case alone. Because the, what is a crude example? You look at it, you say that, you know, someone says, uh, you know, when children fight, they say, one, one fellow says, uh, children are even grown-ups also. So someone says, uh, you know, uh, you stole. So let's say one person, uh, Chaitra tells uh, Maitra that you stole. And the Maitra replies, so did you. So Swapaksha Dosha is similar to that. So did you. So Chaitra says, uh, 
meaning Chaitra has stolen something and then he is making Aropa on Maitra at a different time saying that you stole and Maitra says that so did you. So what does it mean? That I stole but did you also stole. Now if Chaitra were to reply saying that yes, yes, I, oh, I did, I did steal, I, I didn't, and in fact he, may, he covers up by saying that oh, I didn't, you know, I, I thought that you didn't know. So now if he explains all that or if he does not answer also, he just remains mum also. There may be a misunderstanding as, as to Maitra also is a thief like Chaitra. But Maitra is not a thief. So what is Maitra? Maitra says then, oh, now that you accepted that you have stolen, let me tell you that I have not stolen at all. In fact, you are the only one who stole. So I just said that so did you just to get the truth out from you. Having brought the truth out from you that you are a thief, I am defending myself and I am going to explain that I am not a thief at all. So this is the uh, kind of a, an approach that the Siddhanti Vedanti has taken here by saying Swapaksha Dosha Archa. He says that in your case also there are these doshas. So in one way he is saying that you shouldn't have raised these doubts. But having answered all those and shown that they will apply to you and how you cannot resolve them. I have resolved them, you cannot resolve them. And now I will show you that these doshas are not there in my paksha but they are there only in your paksha. That is the sutra uh, artha here. Vritti says that Vastutastu, Vastutaha. In fact, what? Pancha Satyatva Vadinaha Sankhyasya Tava. Eva Ete Doshaha. Tava means, I am saying Tava means Sankhya. Sankhya is the Pura Pakshi. To Sankhya, the Siddhanti Advaiti says, Advaiti Vedantin says, Prapancha Satyatva Vadi. You are a Prapancha Satyatva Vadi. You are not only Satkarya Vadi. You say that the Prapancha is Sat. Jagat is Sat. So Satyatva Vadinaha. Tava Sankhyasya Eva Ete Dosha. They are, you alone have these problems. I don't have that problem. Why? Because Prapancha is not Satya in my case. In your case, it is Satya. Therefore, the Doshas which accrue will be Satya in your case. All these, you know, the uh, uh, Utpatte, uh, the Prakriti Vikara Bhava is real for in your case. Karya Karana Bhava is Satya. As Satya is the Karana, so Satya is the Karya. Therefore, the Prakriti Vikara Bhava means Karya Karana Bhava is also as real. And Vilakshanatva being real, the Karya Karana Bhava having these leading to what? This Vilakshanatva being real, there has to be real transformation which is not possible. So that dosha cannot be removed in your paksha. And Jagata, Jagata of Prak, before Utpatte of Prak, Jagata Utpatte of Prak, before the Utpatte of Jagat, what? Asatva Prasanga. From Asat Sadutpatti, because Sat is there, meaning the Prapancha is Sat. All the dharmas of uh, Prapancha are Sat in your case, Satya in your case. And they are not there earlier. You have to talk, uh, resolve this. So you will say Bija Vasta Ityadi, whatever you say, that will also be an issue you have to resolve. And then the Ashuddha also, Pradhana will become Ashuddha by Shabdadi Guna. It will be tainted because Shabdadi are Satya. Shabdadi are Satya after Utpatti. So Satya Utpatti is there. So the taint will also be Satya. You cannot say it cannot be tainted. I can give Raju Sarpa example, the Mirage Water example. You cannot give all that. Because in your case, you have to give Ghatapatadi example itself. And then I can argue there and say that the Ghata has been colored. Now that ghata, when it is made churna also, it is going to have that color into the mrit also. So whatever recycling solution I have given, that you cannot give anymore. Because I will raise an aropa because that color which is there in the karya, pata is painted as, let's say red, uh, not red, let's say blue. And your mrit is red. So that blue after the ghata is broken, the blue pot is broken and it is made churna, and you mix it with clay, still your mrit will, uh, the clay will be tainted with this blue color. You cannot resolve it. That example is not going to help you. So I have given that example only to, you know, to argue and say that there is an answer possible. But my real answer I am coming to, he said, Vastutha prapancha satyatvavadina sankhya seveti dosha na me, na me, me pakshe, mama pakshe dosha nasti eva, dosha na santi, eti dosha. Why? Anir, anirvachaniya vadinaha me na dosha iti bhavaha. 
I am anirvachaniya vadi. I am a vivartha vadi. There has never been a change at all. I am not a parinama vadi. I am not a satkarya vadi. I am a anirvachaniya vadi. Never was there a creation per se. It is only manifestation which is apparent. It appears to be so. Therefore, it is all kalpita in my case. So, kalpit, kalpita prapancha ashuddhattvadi dharma, which are kalpita again. They cannot tend the satya satchidananda brahma. In no way, shuddhattva will be, shuddhattva will be tainted by kalpita ashuddhattvam. In no way will the kalpita karya tend the Satya Karana. Therefore, all these doshas, this Prakriti Vikara, Vikara Bhava, Karya Karanatva Bhava is also Kalpita in my case. They cannot have Vilakshanatva kind of an issue. Because Vilakshanatva is also Kalpita. Karya Karana Bhava is Kalpita. Then Asatva that you say that Asatva, we do not have an issue because it's Kalpita Utpatti. So, uh, Jagataha Utpatte Prak is also Kalpita. That, uh, this prak ityadi kala is kalpita. So apito tadvat prasanga adi pralaya is kalpita. And karyavat prasanga that kind of an issue. Ashuddhattva prasanga is also not there. Because ashuddhattva is kalpita in shuddha brahma. So kalpita cannot taint the satya adhisthana karana. And for that our example is what? Raju sarpa or the mirage water. This is the sutrartha and this is the paramasiddhanta. We discuss all this, but then only to say that we all can also use Tarka and resolve all of this. We will show you Shruti Pramana, but final Siddhanta will be based on Shruti as to the Mithya Prapancha cannot taint the Anirvachaniya, meaning Sadasadhyam Anirvachaniya, neither Sat nor Asat, that kind of a Prapancha which is not being existent, it appears that cannot taint what is really real, what is really existent. This is our Parama Siddhanta. That is the 10th Sutra. We will look at more in the next part. Uh, after perhaps a long break, I may be travelling. Uh, if I get tickets, I will travel tomorrow night. Tomorrow being Thursday, there won't be a part. Then I may be missing for uh, you know 10-15 days. I do not know. I have some work to do. So, some puja, ityari. So, I will be travelling and I will uh, I'll see how soon I can come back. But it is going to be at least 10 days, 10 to 15 days. So, no part uh, during that time. आमनायंते समसिद्ध महादी मध्यांत वर्षित महानंद घन महापूर्ण महात्मित ज्योति रूपास महें नमस्ते धन्यवाद नमस्ते